Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena, and today we'll be taking a look at iOS 9.3. This new version of iOS is coming to iPhones and iPads in a few weeks, but we have been test driving the beta version of it for a few days now. And there are quite a few new things that Apple has added to its software, so allow us to show you how its new features work. We'll start with Night Shift because it's probably the most peculiar new feature in iOS 9.3. In a nutshell, using an iPhone or iPad before bedtime might mess up your sleep, and studies show that the bluish light of the display is to blame. Night Shift is supposed to fix this by filtering out blue light during the evening hours. Obviously, this throws colors out of balance and things don't look right like this. But believe it or not, this color shift makes bedtime reading easier on the eyes and may really help you get a better night's sleep. Let's say that we know that from experience. Next up, we have a bunch of new, quick actions enabled on 3D Touch capable devices. Pressing on the App Store icon, for example, gives us a button to update all applications that need to be updated. And the iTunes Store has a useful shortcut that takes us to our recent downloads. The Weather application lists our top 3 cities, and the Health application has a shortcut to our medical ID. But perhaps the most useful bunch of quick actions are here in Settings. We may jump to the battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or wallpaper settings straight from the home screen. Now let's go to the Stock Notes application. What's new here is that you may lock a note with a password. Basically, it works like this. You open the note, you go to the Share menu and you choose to protect the file with a password. If you have Touch ID enabled, you may use your fingerprint instead. But this password feature has its weak spots. First of all, the first few words of the note will always remain visible, so keep that in mind. Also, a password does not protect a note against being deleted. The news app is also getting an update with iOS 9.3. Stories should now load more quickly, and you should be getting better recommendations for your articles based on your topics of interest. What's also new is the landscape orientation and that videos play right there in the feed. These are only some of the changes coming with iOS 9.3. The new software also brings improvements to CarPlay, making it easier to find music and places of interest nearby. The updated health application helps you find compatible third-party apps and has the data from your Apple Watch integrated in it. iPads that are used in education will get support for multiple users on the same device. Also, the multitasking menu moves faster, Siri supports several new languages, you may make duplicates of your photos in the gallery application, and the list goes on and on. Overall, iOS 9.3 doesn't add any groundbreaking changes to iOS, but it adds a number of small features that make life a little bit easier. The public beta of iOS 9.3 is already out, so feel free to give that a try, if you're not afraid of bugs, of course. Or just sit tight and wait, because the final version of iOS 9.3 should be out within a few weeks. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to our website phonearena.com for everything iOS and iPhone related.